Hey, you're reading The Martian? Yeah, and I'm really enjoying it. You know, I've never delved into hard sci-fi before, but... <laughs> what? I'm sorry. You think The Martian qualifies as hard sci-fi? The Martian? I mean, it includes a lot of real scientific concepts. Oh, you sweet, sweet summer child. Here, let me show you a real hard sci-fi book. Tau Zero by Paul Anderson. Okay. You see this? It has a literal equation on the cover. It's the definition of the tau constant in special relativity. That's how you know it's hard sci-fi. I mean, I don't see why the Martian wouldn't count, though. If you don't need a college-level understanding of modern physics to appreciate the novel, then it's clearly not hard sci-fi. I do apologize, I hate to intrude, but I couldn't help but notice that you were claiming that Tau Zero, a mere pulp fiction novel at best, qualifies as hard sci-fi. Oh boy. <laughs> My dear fellow, in order for a novel to qualify as hard sci-fi, it must require the reader to have a passable understanding of more than just special relativity. For example, take Greg Evans' Shield's Ladder, a novel which is literally incomprehensible to the average plebeian as it requires one to have a solid foundation in quantum field theory of which, as I'm sure you're well aware, special relativity is itself a mere preamble. Well, I'm not saying that Tau Zero is the hardest of hard sci-fi, I'm just saying- My good man, if Tau Zero qualifies as hard sci-fi at all, then I am a parasitic nematode. I'm sorry, I don't mean to butt in, but I couldn't help but overhearing the conversation you guys were having, and I have to say, I'm disappointed. Why are people like this? You see, all of the novels that you guys have mentioned so far are at best merely children's literature. If you want a real hard sci-fi recommendation, why don't you try this? Okay, that's just a textbook. Uh, yep, 1200 pages of hardcore science right here. You won't know the joy of Dirac Delta functions until you've experienced them yourself. But the genre is called sci-fi, not just sci. You can't have the sci without the fi and still call it sci-fi. I do hate to admit it, but he has a point. Well, I don't see what the big deal is, but if you're going to be this way, I do have a string theory textbook as well. Okay, that one would actually count. Okay, look, you guys are being ridiculous. I choose which books I want to read based on how good the storytelling is, not based on how rigorous the science is. I mean, rigorous science is nice, but it's basically completely orthogonal to good storytelling. Well, for my part, I find myself incapable of relating to a character unless their IQ is at least as high as I perceive mine to be. Yeah, and anyway, this textbook has great storytelling. All of the observables are multi-dimensional characters, and the magic system is unlike anything you'll find in classical mechanics. You know, I do love a good hard magic system, but quantum mechanics just has a little bit too much hand-wavy stuff for me. Like, what's the physical meaning of Born's rule? Nobody seems to agree on it. Indeed, and how does one mesh general relativity with all of it? Wait a minute. You guys are right. The only way to write a true hard sci-fi novel will be to come up with a new theory of physics that explains everything we don't currently understand about the universe. Otherwise, the novel won't be hard enough. Oh dear, we've been fooling ourselves all along. Quick, if we leave right now, we can make it to the Large Hadron Collider before it closes. We can do this. Oh, we are gonna write a sci-fi novel that is so hard. I'm gonna go watch Star Trek.